I'm just going to make the simple base first and then we've got something to put the display on. So I've just inflated that balloon with three strokes of the Qualitex hand pump. So you start off one stroke, that tends to inflate to about three inches, two strokes, three and a half, three strokes, four. So that is roughly a four inch um, size to four inches. So we'll do it with the next one. And then just tie the two together. Okay, so we've got our duplicate. We want to make another one of these, and then we'll just twist those together. Okay, so we've got our cluster of four. And then the next one, just two strokes. So we're doing exactly the same thing, but just sizing these to three and a half inches. And then we just take those two duplicates, pass them over one another, swap them round. But what we want to do is we want to take one of the necks from our larger cluster and pull it through the centre of the smaller cluster and then just wrap in a figure of eight motion around. And that's going to connect those two together. So we always want the top layer when we do this type of cluster to just be offset set to one side. So you've got the two balloons at the bottom and the one here, two, one, two, one, and they're always, you know, offset in this way. So that's your base. I've got a very small water weight. So I've um, double stuffed a five inch round and made a small water weight. And I'm just going to pull that into the base and through to the center and wrap around again in that figure of eight motion. So that base is nicely weighted. Okay. Next I'm using a, a 350. If you're used to using 260s, you may find the 350s feel you know, quite a bit bigger. I remember when I moved on from 260s to 350s, they, they felt enormous, but um, you can do such a lot with them. So I, I do recommend you give it a go. So we're just going to inflate this. Okay. And we're not going to use all of this balloon, so don't worry too much about how much of a tail you've got, maybe five fingers or so. And that, that's the other thing that um, we obsess about in the beginning when we're starting twisting. Oh gosh, how, how long is the tail? Is the tail long enough, short enough? And what I would try and encourage people to do is not worry too much about it. You, you inflate it, you know, as far as, as, as it goes and, and work with what you've got. The other thing to be aware of is that when you inflate, particularly with the, the hand pump, you've got much more pressure here at the beginning than you have down here, which is why we recommend just letting just a little bit of air out here, just so it's more soft, softer and more malleable. And then we tie, okay? So just tie the soft knot. Okay, and then give it a bit of a squeeze again, so you're sending the air down. And one of the things I say about twisting is your, your job is to manage the air within the balloon. Okay, so you're, you're constantly trying to assess, you know, does that feel too tight? Is the balloon feeling as though it's bulging? And if you need to, you know, you give your balloon a squeeze and it will send the air further down into, you know, this little area that you've got here for expansion. So we just want to make a loop. So grab hold of the knot and nozzle. And that loop is about um, the size of my hand. So uh, we measure horses in hands, so why not, why not balloons? So for me, that's about three and a half inches. And then just twist. And what I like to do is take hold of that knot and nozzle and just pass it through the center of the balloon because that is uh, less likely to come undone, um, having done that. So again, let's just soften our balloon a little bit and make another loop. And very roughly, you want this next loop to be about twice the length of this um, balloon. And then just twist, okay? And we can break off the end or cut off the end. I like to loop, use my little uh, quick cutter on the end and then just tie that in a knot. Okay. And then we can trim off the messy bits. So 
this is this is your your basic body. Uh, I'm now using a 160. And the thing I do is I tend to use the um, larger hand pump to inflate the 160s, and that's because with the pocket pump, I tend to find you get sort of banding, you know, across with each stroke of the pump. It tends to create a very slight bend, so I find you get a smoother inflation. The time I do use the pocket pump is if for some reason I've cut the balloon and the um, nozzle has gone because then it is very difficult to get that onto the, um, the larger pump. So you need to make sure that, you know, just give the 160 a bit of a wiggle so that it's directly above the, uh, the, the nozzle for the hand pump and then just inflate as you would normally. Okay, and I've got a little tail there of a couple of fingers. Again, just soften slightly. Okay. And we're making another loop. So I think the thing to bear in mind about this design is if you can make a daisy flower, you can make this design, okay, because it is mainly loops. Okay, so I'm going to make a loop of a little more than two fingers. So we're just making a twist and again, passing that knot and nozzle through to the other side. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to twist the latex here. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a sort of an uninflated little section here just by twisting. And I only want half an inch or so. And I'm going to hang on to all of that and then take the head and I'm going to pass the ear through the centre of this 350 here. And just feed that through so it comes out the other side and then just push it up slightly and then with this balloon we want to make another loop twist about the same size as this one so again about two fingers so give that a twist and you want to cut off but cut off about here And then with this section, pass that through the head and wrap it around this ear and then just let it disappear. And then what you want to do is just push these ears up and they will just pressure fit there. And so you've got this slightly distortion, this slight distortion to the head. Play in the same way. So again, a tail of two or three fingers, just soften and tie. Okay. Take the knot and nozzle and just wrap that through and round. And make sure everything's nice and soft and then you just want to follow the body around. So just insert the body with the 160 and then wrap that around the neck and then you want to make two little arms so we're just bringing the balloon round and just curling it round slightly below halfway down and make a twist And then we're going to make another loop to match this one. Okay, so just measure very approximately. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size. And then just take that balloon and wrap it around the neck. Okay. And then what you can do with the rest of this one is just take hold of that tip and turn that into a loop. Okay, so grab hold of that and wrap the tip into the neck and wrap it round. And this is to replace a pinch twist. So this is, with this type of design, quite often at this point you would make a pinch twist because that little loop is going to help hold the head in position. So that's actually at the back and we're just using that loop to um, keep the head in position because otherwise it's going to move back. You, you, can, you can actually skip this all together if you want to. Next, I'm using a six inch heart. 
And I don't want to fully inflate this, just to the point where the lobes of the heart are starting to appear, and then just tie. And then take hold of that knot and nozzle, pull it into the back of the head, and wrap around that little loop that we made. And then just let go. And then you can just move the head around. So we've got that little bit of 160 left from when we made the ears and all you need to do is just pass that through the centre of the body, okay, pull that through into the base here and we can use this to connect to the green base that we made, okay, so just pull that 160 round and wrap it around the base in a figure of eight that with both of those tails that you've got. Okay. So you may need, depending on how your hippo is sitting, you may need to move this slap strap slightly further up the body or slightly further forward. Um, I'm fairly happy with how that is at the moment. Okay, and then I'm going to do two little flicks eyelashes and a big smiley face I've got a palette of blushes and I'm just um, going to put a little bit of blusher here okay, so there's the, um, the the basic design but we, there are a few things we can do to um, you know to embellish this design um, I find these are good as bases for a healing bouquet, so you can team this with a healing bouquet. They're fun for uh, centerpieces if you're doing a jungle theme party, something like that. They're, they're quick to do and uh, people do like them. So I'm just taking a 160 in pale pink. And again, I've got a tail of two or three fingers. And I'm just going to make some small loops, so don't worry whether these loops are the same size, it really doesn't matter. Just two small loops. Okay. Make everything look nice and soft by giving it a squeeze. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull, position that at the front of the display, bring the 160 around the back. And then at the back here, I'm just going to put a little twist here and just split the balloon and then bring it back around, whoops, back around the front and then twist that 160 directly into that cluster of loops. Just going to snip off the end and then take this bit of strap here, pull it back through and wrap into that little split that you made at the back here. Oops, where's it gone? And that's just going to help hold it in position. I could do with my little strap here being a slightly longer, but I think it'll be okay. That's just going to help cinch everything together and um, keep that, that little bow in position. So the other thing I like to do with these is make a small flower. So again I'm using a 160, so just little loops. small loop of a couple of fingers or so another small loop it doesn't matter if you want to make a four petal or a five petal flower whatever suits you so I think the, the bloom world had a sort of a fixation with you know flower petal flowers having a certain number of petals everyone was doing seven 
seven petal flowers at one point and uh, there was quite a craze for them but I would say do whatever you feel most comfortable with if you're at that stage where you know you're you're most comfortable doing four petal flowers then stick with that um, and uh, move on to five petal when you've mastered the four petal so these are and, and these are, as artists, I think these are our design choices to make. You, you don't need someone else's permission to, uh, you know, um, make a four petal flower or a five petal flower. I'm just going to trim off the nozzle end, sorry, the tip end of this 160. And so I am going to use my pocket pump just to make a little centre for, in fact, I'm going to use a paler pink. Um, just so it shows up a little bit better. And then just twist up a bubble. And tie a knot. And then just pull that into the centre of your flower. to hold wrap that in. Um, and you can you can do a, as much as you want to with, with this there are other little things we can do there are other options so you could have a little bow just you know with a glue dot or you know using a 160 just to pull that in at the ear so these guys have uh, they're ready for swimming you know, they've got their, their little armbands and flotation aids. Uh, we've got this one on the normal base. We've got this one on a slightly bigger base.